All right, you guys. Global 7500. This thing is huge. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Brian. I fly private jets for a living. I'm also a film nerd and a skit writer. If you like aviation, comedy, and fun adventures, then follow along with me and my friends in a series that I like to call... All right, so I'm still actively doing these line checks with Silver Air. That's never changed. In fact, uh, I've been flying some pretty amazing airplanes, or flying in some pretty amazing airplanes, I should say. I'm not actually flying them myself because it's not my flight check. I'm just there recording it. Today we're flying a Global 7500, and compared to the regular Global Express, um, man, this airplane is pretty freaking huge. So today I'm doing things a little bit differently. Normally I have my cameras all packed up inside my backpack, but today I have them inside of a bin that I just carry inside of the airplane, which I find is much easier because I don't have to dig through my backpack to go through all of these uh, wires and cameras and everything. I can just look inside the bin, pull out exactly what I need, put back exactly what I need, and everything's easy to find and sort out. So I pull my car up next to the airplane and I'm parking my car now because the bin is inside the airplane and now I'm going to walk to the airplane, set up all my cameras, and then we'll uh, we'll get this shoot going. So today we're flying from Van Nuys, California to Victorville, California, and then back for the line check. The same thing I did in the last Global Express, we're gonna take the same route, same everything. So it's pretty much standard procedure at this point. We either fly to Victorville or we fly to Bakersfield on a regular basis. My buddy, he's the one who's gonna be flying today, and uh, he's over there pre-flighting right now. He's also a member of the Aero Squadron, um, that I flew with when we did the Tuskegee Airmen uh, Memorial, the Memorial Flight. Uh, you guys probably remember that video. Anyway, time to set up the cameras. Sound system up in here? Yeah. That's crazy. So this is the heads up display. Not currently activated yet. But I can imagine how cool it would look. So the information for the heads up display comes from the camera right there, or the projector I should say. And then it projects onto the screen showing you the image, which is so freaking cool. It's so trippy. Of course, I had to rock the fly comp and shoes. I had to go run to the stock room real quick and grab some batteries because uh, apparently the ones I put in weren't fully charged at all. And I thought they were a fresh pair, but I, I probably misplaced them with another pair. I, I don't know. But anyway, good to go now. It looks even bigger to me because I'm here in person, but I'm pretty sure it looks big on video too. I mean, I'm six foot three inches and I can stand underneath the wing. That's how high it is. is humongous. Okay, I need to get over to my seat. Ooh, this thing is powerful. <laughs> and it's super quiet. Van 
eyes, you guys. Van eyes. This is the whole San Fernando Valley. Come on, you guys. Give me a thumbs up for the algorithm. Or better yet, give me a thumbs up for this airplane. All right, time to go up front and check on the cameras. So now that we're on the ground, we're going to taxi to the end of the runway. We're going to park right there. The pilots are going to switch seats. I'm going to turn off the cameras while they switch the seats. And then we're going to start a new video going from Victorville to Van Nuys. Right Good job, you guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all my stuff is here and accounted for. Good to go. Look how long this plane is from the inside. I'm at the very back in the baggage compartment with the door open. Time to go home and edit this bad boy. Submit it to the FAA. And then my work here is done. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god. Oh my god.